Okay guys, so now we're going to look at mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive events and we're going to concentrate on the R rule, okay? So first of all I'm going to explain what is a mutually exclusive event and what is a non-mutually exclusive event and then we look at how to deal with them separately. Okay, so mutually exclusive events, they're the ones over here. Mutually exclusive events are where I suppose the the two events or the two the two things we're looking at can occur separately from each other and never together. So for instance, um, what are the chances of drawing a king or a queen from a deck of cards? Well in this situation I can draw a king from the deck of cards, I have a four chance in fifty two. I can draw a queen from the deck of cards. But I can never draw both at the same time with one pick. Okay, so if I put my hand in, I'll either, I'm either going to get a king or a queen or neither. But I'm never going to get both with the one pick. Whereas over here with non-mutually exclusive events, um, if I look at what are the chances of drawing a red card or a queen from a deck. Well, I could get a red card that isn't a queen. I could get a queen that isn't a red. But actually, I could technically put in my hand, take out a card, and it could be a queen and a red at the same time. Now there's a non-mutually exclusive event. Uh, I suppose the simple way to put it, I could kill two birds with one stone. So if I can kill two birds with one stone and get the queen and the red in the same pick, then it's a non-mutually exclusive event. And we deal with these differently. Um, in Junior Cert, we would have just been totally concentrating on mutually exclusive events. But now, we, we have to bear in mind that actually events could be non-mutually exclusive as well. So if we're given a question and you know we know we're concentrating on the R rule, we first have to ask ourselves, well, is this event mutually exclusive or non-mutually exclusive? Okay. First of all, we look at mutually exclusive events. Um, this is, is very easy. It's um, just like we did in Junior Cert. So the probability of getting a king or a queen. Well, the probability probability of getting A or B is just the probability of getting A plus the probability of getting B. Okay. So all we do is look for the probability of getting a king and that is or out of 52, R, okay, R is plus, there it is, probability of getting a queen, which is also 4 out of 52, and that will give us, when we add it up, 8 out of 52, okay, right, and um, we, we, can, we can make that a smaller fraction if we want, but Let's go over to non-mutually exclusive events now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, that we, we have a formula for it, and it's the probability, so the probability of A or B equals it starts off the same as mutually exclusive events. It's the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Now, A and B, the intestinal text, they will say A and B. Okay. However, I am going to say A intersection B. Okay, because that will that will keep a bit more clear for us. Okay, so watch. Well, the probability of A. Well, there's event A is getting a red card, and so here we go. Probability of getting A is all of this. Okay. And that is twenty six over 52 plus the probability of B and that's all of this which is 4 out of 
52. But notice, I'm after counting this too, twice. I'm after counting it with the probability of getting the red, with the green bit. But I'm also after counting it again with the probability of getting a queen, which is the blue bit. So I am going to have to take away the probability of A intersection B. And A intersection B is this bit here. So I'm going to take away 2 out of 52, okay? The book often says and there, but um, for the sake of clarity now, we are going to go intersection, okay? Because um, you, can, you can run into trouble if, if, if we put and there in some of the questions. Okay. And that will give us 28 out of 52. And again, you can, um, you can make that a smaller fraction, okay? Or simplify that fraction. Okay, I hope that helps, lads. Um, again, just going back on it, in junior cert, it would have been all mutually exclusive events with the R rule. However, now, if we're dealing with our R rule, we need to ask ourselves first, are these events mutually exclusive or non-mutually exclusive? If they're mutually exclusive, then we will be following this, this method. But if they're mutually non-mutually exclusive, then we have to follow that. And sometimes it's easier to actually draw um, a Venn diagram, I suppose, in the non-mutually exclusive events, just to get your head around it. Okay, once you've drawn the Venn diagram, I think the rest is, um, is, is common sense, really. Okay, thanks, lads.